How's that sound? Okay, Tony. Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go have a drink. What are you drinking? Ice, give me ice, a lot of ice. Ice? You gonna drink ice? Give me a dike or whatever. When you have a real drink. Thank you, Tony. Cage Fury, man. World MMA champion. You know it's my dream to fight with him, right? Your dream? It should be more like your nightmare. Let's cheer to that. Yay, pretty boy. <laughs> nice fight tonight, huh? Thanks. Yeah, but my boy here, little Juan, says he fight like his abuelita. You know what, he's probably right. You guys have a great night, okay? <laughs> nah, nah. I like him. He reminds me of my little pit bull. What did you do? Not too good. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God is right. Okay, so we can pay the electricity bill tomorrow and the water next week. Worry too much. I got all taken care of. He's good. He's strong, Hector. Good to meet you there. How was your day, baby? It was okay. <sighs> Look at your face. Yeah, I'm getting pretty by the minute, huh? How did you win? I got this guy in a triangle, you know? And as soon as I got him, I began to squeeze with all my might. It was a good fight. Hector, I know that you love this, and I've never seen you so happy, but... But I need to get a real job. Now, don't worry, I got a few interviews tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get something. I know you're trying, baby. <sighs> it's just so, you know, when I'm fighting, when I'm in there, just for a moment, you know, I feel like I'm a winner. I feel like I'm somebody, you know. I can take all my pain and all my anger out. And right after they raise my hand, you and Martin immediately come to my mind. And I realize right there how much I love you both. Baby? Good night. And I love you too. Good night, baby. Hurry up. What's happening, baby? Oh, no, I can't figure out how to blow this thing in. It's going crazy. I told you you have to treat this like a baby. Gambling, and with a lot of love. Ah, uh, it's that uh, special nurse's touch that only you seem to possess. <laughs> Levántate otra vez. Te 
¡Mátate, cabrón! ¡Duro! ¡Más! ¡Otra vez! This is the guy I was telling you about. He's a superstar on the web, and he's actually a better than okay fighter. The Mexican Chavez? You know, you might be a genius. This guy's exactly what we're looking for. The Latinos represent 50% of our pay-per-view sales. I told you I'd find somebody. I can see it now. He's Mexico, he's America, he's today, he's tomorrow. Not just somebody, but the dream. We can do the fight on Cinco de Mayo. You know, I never doubted you, my friend, but that's three weeks away. I mean, this guy might not even be in shape. Listen, the late choice will build the drama even higher. Come on, guys. I don't have all day. I didn't come here to watch you humiliate yourself. Look, this is the perfect fight for your boy. You get a great commission, three weeks away, Mexican Independence Day. Take a look. Hey, Brett, would you put some salve on my tattoo? It eases the inflammation. This guy's an amateur. That's exactly why he's the perfect challenger. He's Hispanic, so we make a lot of money. And your boy cruises to another easy fight. I don't know. It's the finest fuel to feed the flame of the myth of Cage to destroy your fury. Fighter. Whoa. What happened to your face? Your wife hit me. Oh, come on. I want to know how my little brother's doing. Look, I'm not your little brother anymore, okay? I'm 42. I have a wife and a kid. You're still my little brother. I want to know why you haven't come to church. Isn't enough Jesus got you? I mean, can you just pray for the two of us? No. It doesn't work that way. Well, too bad, brother. All right, so is that why you asked me to come down here? What do you need? Why am I here? I need one of your blessing, okay? I got a few job interviews, and I need all the help I can get. Jobs? Yeah. Well, you know you always have my blessing. But I want to see you Sunday. I'll try. Try. Well, I'll do my best. That's good enough. How's my nephew, Martin? He's doing good. He's good. Look, I gotta get going. Okay, okay, okay. Don't stop because of me. Hey, hey, what about the blessings? <laughs> Yeah, this is she. Actually, we're gonna be making that payment today, and thank you for not disconnecting it sooner. Yes, that's correct. And when is our next payment due? Yeah, but I'm paying you today. Listen, my husband and I have been out of work for the last 10 months, and we've been going on every interview that we could get. If you could please maybe push the payment back by two weeks or so, yeah? Well, could I talk to your supervisor? Okay, thanks, I will.
Excuse me, Dr. Baker, I'm Chavez. Hi, Mr. Chavez. Well, sadly, I don't have good news for you. Martin's gonna need another operation. The surgery we performed when he was four months old to widen the narrowing pulmonary tract to enclose the ventricular septal defect wasn't as successful as we had hoped. Plainly, his heart is weakening. He's going to need another surgery very soon. Okay. Thank you. Hey, baby. Gia Chavez. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. White is ready for you right now. Thank you. So in the very first round, he kicked me right here and cut this muscle off in half. I was in so much pain, and I went through it, you know, in round first, second, third, but in the fourth round, when I go to the corner, your Uncle Jose was there. And I was ready to tell him, man, just throw the towel, it's too much pain, I can't take it, it's not worth it. And right before I'm gonna say it, he looked at me and he said, you got this, man, I love you. And I felt like the whole world was behind me. And the bell rang and I turn around and I see this guy running at me like a train, you know? He keep on coming and I'm waiting. And he's coming and I'm waiting. And when I get him right in front of him, I punch him. And I never forget it, he fly in slow motion, lands in the canvas, and I look around and your uncle Jose jump. And hug me and he say, I told you you can and what I learned from that is that you never give up. And you'll never give up. Because I'm a champion and I know you're a champion. So you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, baby. Very impressive, Mrs. Chavez. You seem to be a little overqualified for the job. But I think I can hire you right away. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. White, that's, that's great, thank you. You seem to really wanna get this job. Yes, my husband and I have been out of work for months and we're after our neck and bills. And my, my son is- Hey, come on. I've been in difficult situations too. I completely understand. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. This job just means the world to us, thank you. You have nothing to be sorry or nervous about. I want you to know, if you help me out, I'll help you out. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, sir. Now that's what I want to hear. Now how about showing me your gratitude and giving me some special attention, huh? Oh! You son of a bitch! My husband is a fighter and so am I. Bastard. Oh. Police sources have informed us that Hernandez, who in the last six months lost his job, cars, and homes, took a gun and shot his two children, his wife, and then himself around the hour of midnight last night. Now moving on to Dwayne Storm Johnson with the weather. Thank you, Biff. For most of Southern California, the Santa Ana winds have made a mess of things everywhere last night. Tanya will have more on how that's impacted traffic packed on and traffic. The temperatures in the over Hey, buddy. Hmm. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Got a beauty here for you, man. Let me take a look at it. Look at that. Oh, no, yeah, that, that's nice. How much are you asking? I don't know. We're thinking maybe 500 Okay. The best I can do is $200. Look, man, I really need the money. I have a sick kid right here, you know? I'm sorry. 200 200 that's it. Okay, we'll take it. Boss, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Spit it out. 
The media's reporting Champ's last opponent, Ronald Cash, was found unconscious in his room. He's now in a coma. Doctor thinks maybe it's due to the punishment he received from Cage. The doctors think that maybe Cash's injuries were caused by the Champ's punishment. Let me tell you something about doctors. They don't know each and everything. When my mother was pregnant with me, they said I was a cyst. They said they had to open her up and remove me immediately. You tell our PR department to wait a respectable couple of hours and then to announce that Ultimate Extreme Combat is going to have a massive tribute benefit to show our respect in the only way that MMA knows how. I don't know. It. Listen, warriors got to go to war. The show must go on. That's going to cause a media shitstorm. And we're going to shy from the controversy? That's what puts butts in the seats. The show's got to have that narrative to twirl the turnstiles. And besides, the champ's supposed to never fight again if Cash doesn't come out of his coma? Where you guys been? We were just in the park having a great time and I'm missing you. How was your interview? Not very good. I don't think they're going to ask me back. That's okay. Don't worry. I sold that gun. So we're thinking maybe you and I can go out for a nice dinner, what you said. What were you thinking? Well, something very fancy. Maybe we get a Big Mac or something like that. That sounds tempting. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, Ian, I haven't seen you in two days. Uh, tomorrow's the fight. You have to be there, okay? Hey, champ. Yeah. Listen, it's, uh, it's me. I, I'm not gonna be able to make the fight tomorrow. Um, Maria's gonna be there instead. Everything's gonna be great, all right? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything's good. I, I wish you the best. All right, I'll see you soon. Like I was saying, you little fuck. You have three days to get the 15 grand. Three fucking days. Or you're dead. Take care of some business. You guys were here for me. Oh, let's go. Where's Tony, man? We've been waiting here for an hour. This guy looks like a crook to me. He's not a crook. He's, he's a friend. He's a good friend. I don't know, Hector. I'm telling you, I trust this guy. Hey! Okay, I'm sorry I'm late. I had some things to take care of. Great fight, though. Thanks. Great fight. Thanks, man. Who's the girl? Oh, she's uh, Ian's girlfriend. Don't worry about it. Uh, do you have my money? What's with the attitude? Come on, take your, take your girl, we'll go have a drink. I don't want a drink. I want my money, we've been waiting here for an hour. Well, I don't have your money right now. You don't have my money. Are you fucking kidding me, Tony? You're gonna have to wait. You motherfucker, listen to me. You get me the money now, I need the money now. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You son of a bitch. Are you fucking playing with me? I want my money now! Roscoe, Jake! You son of a bitch. Get the hell out of here. Let's go.
trust you, motherfucker. Hey! Another great fight, pretty boy! Although my guy Juan here says he can still kick your ass. So what do you say, champ? You ready to go? Maybe another day, huh? <laughs> what happened? You afraid? Look, I just had a fight. Another day for sure, huh? Hey, I'm gonna hold you accountable, okay? You can't try that. Chapolito or okay? <laughs> okay. Are you Hector Chavez? Who are you? Are you Hector Chavez? Yes, who the fuck are you? Never mind who I am. I got somebody very important who wants to talk to you. Mr. Hector Chavez. Really very nice to meet you. I'm a big fan. My name is John Stone. John Stone. What are you doing in a neighborhood like this? Well, I'm here to make you an offer I think you'll find both stimulating and profitable. Oh, really? And what is that? How would you like to fight the champion of the world in mixed martial arts in our biggest event ever, the 100 Mixed Martial Arts Colossus, right here in beautiful Los Angeles? Is this a joke? No, of course not. Look, you're a big star in fighting on the web. And that's how young people connect these days. So what would make greater sense than to bring our biggest champion against you, the biggest star of the internet? I don't know. Well, we'd be willing to offer you $100,000 to say yes. And perhaps that could help you and your family get out of this place. You fight in three weeks on Cinco de Mayo. Can I talk this over with the wife? Of course you can. The wife is very important to any deal. Look, I'll give you my card. I'll expect your call tomorrow. I really do hope you'll join us, Mr. Chavez. I'm sure you'll go far. Thank you, thank you. Good night, Mr. Chavo. Wow. There you have it. This is the first exclusive look at Hector the Mexican Chavez, the new contender that just signed to fight the current world mixed martial arts champion, Cage the Destroyer Fury. The fight is set to take place on Cinco de Mayo in Los Angeles, California. Joining us via satellite is the champ, Cage Fury. Champ, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, well, you have had a truly amazing career. I mean, you're known as one of the most vicious finishers in all of the MMA, and you've knocked out a total of 45 separate opponents. I mean, you truly are the destroyer. So I'm really curious, what are your predictions for this upcoming fight? My predictions for this fight are, I'm going to send the wet back, back to Mexico in a body bag. My prediction is war. I'm sorry. One second, honey. Yes. I'm sorry, what were you saying? My name is Hector Chavez. My son was rushed here in an emergency. His name is Martin and my wife's name is Dia Chavez. All right, honey, let me check. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? Hector Chavez. Oh, aren't you the guy fighting in all those videos? That's why you look so familiar. You know your name's been all over the news, right? Excuse me, did you say all over the news? Yes. Now, are you really gonna fight this Cage Fury? He's a beast. You better be careful, boy. Your family's in room 223. Thanks. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? He has to be operated on by next week. It's okay, we're gonna be fine. I got some good news. What, that you're gonna fight the Cage Fury? How do you know? How do I know? It's been all over the news. How could you accept the fight without talking about it to me first? Yes, they did offer me the fight. But I didn't accept yet. So everybody's lying then? I don't know, baby. Maybe they jumped the gun. They did offer me the fight, but I told them I have to talk to you first. Hector, I've been thinking about this, and this is crazy. You fought eight times in the last two months for a lousy $200 a fight. Look at your face. He's going to kill you. 
I'm not going to sit here and watch my son die and you die too. You have to at least let me try. I, I won't be part of your death, Hector. Look, baby, it's our only way out. I have a bad feeling about this fight. Mr. Chavez, wait. Do you mind signing an autograph for me? I'm a big fan of MMA. I love the sport. I watch every fight. And that's for Terry. T-A-I-R-R-I-E. And you could put something like to the beautiful nurse or something like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you better be careful. You better protect that cute little butt of yours. I know I haven't been here in a while. A long while. But I don't know who to turn to. I need your help. I need your help badly. Please, God, tell me what to do. You scared the heck out of me. Took you long enough to show up in church? What is it, one year? Huh. Is everything okay? Why are you here? Well, um, Martin's in the hospital. He needs a surgery right away. Listen, they offered me to fight Cage Fury, the MMA world champion. Hundred thousand dollars in three weeks. Wow. Of course, the wife doesn't want me to do it, but I have to do it. It's the only way out for me. You have to do it. Gia doesn't want you to. Huh? No. Well, you have to understand that. You know, she loves you. She doesn't want to see you hurt. Nobody does, Hector. But you have to do what you have to do. And you know what? She'll be there waiting for you. She'll back you hundred percent. And I will too. Always. Thank you. What else did you come to ask me? I was wondering if uh, you can help me train for the fight. Yeah, I'll train you. You have to work really hard. I don't want you to get hurt. You have to do everything I say. First, you got to pray. Yes, sir. I knew you were going to say that. To you. You know, you're a very attractive woman. I'm glad you think so. You know what this is? What? That is the Virginia State Seal. More presidents come from Virginia than any other state. I come from Virginia. So do I. Well, that's something we have in common then. Ah, Mr. Hector Chavez. Well, that's a very dynamic decision, Mr. Hector Chavez. We'll call you tomorrow about the signing of the agreement. Congratulations, Challenger. Well, your fight is official, champ. Here, here. Good. I want you guys to get as much dirt as you can on this Mexican. I want this to be the fight of the century. Consider it done. I'm gonna take this Mexican on a ride to hell. <laughs> You're so mean, Buffy. So bad. Ask you, do, do you think you could just lend me a, a little bit of money, maybe like 300 bucks? What is it for? Uh, just, just some business. You know, something came up. You know I'm good for it, right? I'll, I'll pay back. Look, you already owe me $1,000. Would you were gonna give me back three poker games ago? I know, I know. No, look, look, all right, babe, this time is different. I, look, I can feel it, all right? I can feel it. This time I'm gonna win. Look, I've been playing this game since I'm 13 years old. You gotta trust me. This is my jackpot, okay? I, I promise you I'm going to win. Look, I don't care about the money. All I care is about you. So please, just promise me this is gonna be the last time. I and promise, then you stop. I promise, Maria. I love you. I promise. Last time. <laughs> Take it. <sighs> you. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me always. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. and life everlasting. Amen. Not bad. Not bad, compadre. <laughs> huh. What do you want? You finally hit the big time, now you're gonna ask me what I want? What the hell do you want? Shut up, midget! I'm not talking to you. When I say shit, then you talk. <laughs> yeah, homie. <laughs> finally got a big break on. Hope you're not gonna forget your old friends. Now here's the deal. I want you to wear our gang colors on your shorts. And secondly, you come work for us now. Look, Mondo, I never give you or any of you guys any trouble, okay? I always earn my living, honestly. So I'm gonna ask you respectfully to leave me alone, please. Respectfully? Is this is respectfully bullshit. Now you listen. And you listen good. Drop the gun. Let him go. Drop it. Let him go. Drop the gun. Drop it. What's going on here? What is going on? Nothing, Mondo under they just just stopped to say hi. They're leaving now. Hello, Mondo. I see you're finally come to church. Fuck you, priest! Watch your mouth. You're in the house of the Lord. Fuck your father. Fuck Jesus too. <clears throat> I told you to watch your mouth. What's the matter with you guys? This is no over, pretty boy. Stay away from this priest. Get your ass killed. How you guys doing? We're okay. How are you? Okay. I start training today. I see. Mr. and Mrs. Chavez, I have Martin's latest test results. I'm afraid he's too weak to perform the surgery. We need to build up his immune system, his red blood cells, as well as strengthen his body. So we're going to keep him here so that we can help him get stronger and monitor his progress. And then I think we can perform the surgery May 5th. Is there a problem with that date? That's the earliest the surgical team is available. No, no, it's okay. Look, we'll do whatever it takes to make sure that the operation is a success. Of course, it's going to cost more money, but that's something you'll have to take up with our financial department. We'll take care of it. Thank you so much for your time. Listen, I assure you, we will do everything we can to get Martin safe and sound. Now you two take care of each other. Thank you. Thank you. Can we walk out? Yes. Listen, 
Hector, if we apply for unemployment, we can get a couple hundred dollars a month. And the hospital has a financial aid department that can take care of the rest of the bills. Why don't you let me figure this out first before you go fighting this monster? How many times I told you I don't want to bother the people with my problems. I want to be able to take care of my family myself. I know how proud you are. And you've always taken such good care of Martina and I. But sometimes life steps all over you and leaves you no way out. And you have to humble yourself and accept help from other people and there's nothing wrong with that. We have a way out. I need to fight. Look, I know you're afraid. So am I, okay? Then don't do it. I have to do it. I have to do it for you. I have to do it for Martin. But we're lucky. We have a way out. I need to fight. You're gonna have to do this on your own then. I'm gonna have to do this alone. I'm gonna have to do this alone. You know what? I'll never be alone. You and Martin always be with me. Because they're helping me train. And you know what? For the first time in my life, there's people out there that love my training. You can die giving people what they love. In that room lies Ronald Cash in a coma he got from the beating from a guy you're gonna fight. Hector, is this what you're asking of us? Martin, an orphan, and me a widow? That's our future. Look, we have to do this. Maybe there's a way out for us. People can't believe there's a way out for them. No, Hector. They will wake up every day and do the same shit they always do. Don't do this. Please. Ah! Cousin? Wait, man, you got the wrong guy. Nah, you the right bitch. I don't want when I see one. No. Come on, get up. Hello, Amade. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. Stop, stop, bitch. The cops are coming. The cops are coming. Bobo, Bobo, let's go. Mr. Stone is ready to see you guys. Ah, Mr. Hector Chavez, how nice to see you. Nice to you, sir. This is my right-hand man, Steve White. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my right hand, Ian Raven. Pleasure, sir. Sir, good to meet you. We have your contract already. If you'll just initial each page and sign execute the last page, we'll be happy to give you your deposit. And now we're going to take you out to our media launch room for our brief fight press conference. Congratulations, Challenger. Thank you. Thank you, your deposit, Mr. Chavez, $30,000. I have to say I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. There's one caveat. If any pundit brings up the issue of your late selection, we'll just say it was to preserve the privacy of your family. Yes, sir. Let's put on a good show. What's that feel, big guy? 30 G's, huh? Hey, listen, I'm, uh, I have to run out just, just a minute earlier, right? Is that, is that okay? I, are you kidding me? Champ, I wouldn't ask unless it was important. You know that, right? Look, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna kill this thing. We made it, huh? We made it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch press conference of the 100th Mixed Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship of the World event. This event, we're so excited about it because we've captured not only the attention of the Los Angeles community, but the hearts and minds of people all over the world. 
Right now, today, we have press from Japan, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Russia, Malaysia, India. Today, we are one world under the banner of ultimate extreme combat today. Anyone? I'm going to start first with the undisputed, reigning physicist of pain, the heavyweight mixed martial art champion of the world, the indestructible force majeure, Cage, the destroyer, Fury. And his challenger, a man hailed by the Latin American community as the people's champion, seized from the digital age, up from the urban ethnic trenches. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Hector, the Mexican Chavez. Let the press conference begin. Fire up your questions. Yes, the lady there. We know you've had problems finding an opponent for the champ. Do you think that Mr. Chavez will pose any sort of a challenge whatsoever? You know, ma'am, we've studied Mr. Chavez's fights very, very carefully, and I made my decision based on what he's already proven, which is substantial. <laughs> oh, got you. How's it feel? How's it feel? <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chavez, all due respect, do you really think you have a shot against the champion? Look, uh, I know I have only a few MMA fights, but I've been fighting all my life. And I would never take in this fight if I didn't know in my heart that I can win it. What do you have to say to that, champ? I don't care who they put in front of me. I'm here to prove I'm king of this cage. I'll fight anybody the organization puts in front of me and prove I'm the best MMA fighter of all time. Mr. Chavez, do you think that you'll even last one round? I know I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champ all five rounds. And I promise you guys, a fight you'll never forget. You better watch what you say, wet bag. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe that smirk off your face when I leave you for dead in the ring. Just like your mom and dad left you and your kid brother. Yeah. Just like you left your wife and your sick kid. Just no, no, like no, you no, left no, your guys, family guys, guys, when they needed you most! Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Leave it in the ring, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the thrills and chills start right now. This is Ultimate Extreme Combat. Coming up. And that was the incredible scene at the press conference for the fight scheduled May 5th between Hector the Mexican Chavez and the world heavyweight champion Cage Fury, who revealed that Chavez and his brother had been abandoned as children, and then further alleged that Chavez had left his own family, a wife and sick child, when they supposedly needed him the most. Mom? Yes, honey? Did Dad leave us? No, no, baby. That's just lies from a very bad man. Your daddy loves us more than ever. Is Dad going to fight the bad man? I'm afraid so. Don't worry, Mom. My dad is a superhero. He always wins. Yes, he does. <laughs> Dre, man, let me get some water. Yeah, drink it up, drink it up. man, Hector Chavez. Man, fuck Hector, man. That dude left his wife and his sick kid. Yeah, I saw it on the news last night. Man, fuck you, Chavez. Oh, cage free. Whoop your ass. Men. It's the famous Martin Chavez here. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> What's happening, buddy? How you doing? I'm much stronger. I can see that. Let me see your muscles. <laughs> That's pretty good. Look at you. Are you going to fight the bad man? I'm afraid so. Can you promise me you'll win? I promise you I can do my best. Where's my present for not telling me you made this deal a long time ago? Your present? Your present's right here with me my heart. He's a killing machine. What's the plan? Improve his speed and power. He wants to be as explosive as he can be. Like an atomic bomb. How are you feeling, champ? Spectacular. I want the champ to knock out the Mexican in the first round. We can't look bad. After all, we're the professionals. Don't worry, I got it covered. More hip, champ! More hip! I'll tell you, Hector, it made me sick listening to him talk all that garbage about you. And it's all lies, too. Somebody should stop him. Yeah, we should, uh, 
should probably hold a press conference, champ. You know, just, just clear the air, let people know what's really going on. Look, I don't care about what people think, okay? I got nothing to prove. I know who I am. Yeah, but, uh, but champ, you know, people might start to hate you. <laughs> that's, well, that's bad for business. He's got a point. Aren't you the one who always told me that the truth always come out of the end? Yeah, I said that. Okay, so why don't we focus on training? And we'll do the talking in the cage. I like the sound of that. Okay, so let's train. Come on. So that cage, you got to remember, he's all muscle. He's a wrecking machine. The only way you can beat him is with speed, agility, and combinations. That's what we got to focus on. So stay out of his reach. Come in, do the damage, and leave. Because if he hits you one time, game over. Yeah, he's a monster. Well, I'm not fighting the monster. I'm fighting the man. I'm pretty sure he has a weakness. We all do. We'll find it. Hit it. Oh. Champ. Come on, just Bad two boy. more. Keep going. Give last it up. two rounds. Nice. Hard, hard. Ha. Yeah. Last, last round. Last round. Come on. Come on. Give Here it everything. Go. So the money. Let's go. Come on. Give it everything. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. All there. Yeah. Ha. Tell him. Got it. That a boy. Looking good. Looking good. All right, you're done. Right? Yeah. Huh. Bye, guys. I gotta go see the wife and the kid. You deserve it. Okay, we're gonna stay and watch the, the video of Cage, all right? And study him. Go ahead. All right? Give them my love. You did good today, little brother. You earned it. He's looking good. He's looking good. Real good. <laughs> hey, how long you guys been working together? Eight years? Actually, 10. I was exactly uh, 17 when your brother saved my ass from a beatdown. Oh, yeah? yeah? What was that about? Well, I bet on this, uh, this mixed martial arts fight at a bar, and I won. So uh, I went to collect my money. Guy didn't want to pay. So I started pushing him, and he didn't like that very much. Next thing I know, I look behind me, the whole bar is ready to take me down. If it wasn't for Hector, I would have had my ass handed to me. I mean, really. After that, you know, we... Started talking, went, got a drink, and teamed up, and uh, started running together ever since. And you stopped betting, right? Actually, um, might have a little bit of a gambling problem. But hey, you know, it's ten years. Ten years, man. We made it. We made it. It's more than ten years. It's more like thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Our father started training us when we were little, little boys. He was Mexican kickboxing champ, and he worked with us hard. And then when we were teenagers, he tried to bring us to the U.S., and something went down really bad. We lost both our parents. We got sent back. We worked in the strawberry fields picking strawberries. We met an old man, an old priest. He took us in, he took care of us. Eventually, he passed away, and. Out of honor for him, I decided to become a priest. Man, that's a tough story, Padre. Yeah, but that's not the worst of it. That's not. It gets worse? Yeah, it was really rough for us when we were little. Our father was a drunk. And anytime he'd lose, he'd take it out on us. He would beat the hell out of all of us. My mom, Hector, and me. For some reason, Hector always took the worst beatings. He keeps fighting. A man like that deserves success.
I'm Dia Chavez. I'm here for the interview regarding my son's operation. Just wait a few minutes. Our social worker will be with you soon. Just fill out these forms, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll send her right in. Chavez! Okay, baby, I have to go. I've got this horrible patient who's driving me crazy. Oh, yeah, what does he have? He just had an operation, but he's so mean that everybody in the hospital wants him to die. Oh, why don't you just unplug him? <laughs> All my life I've been trying to save people, and now I'm gonna kill them. It's just an idea. <laughs> Bye. Very hard to find, my friend. Look, okay, look, okay. I just need more time. Sorry, time is up. <laughs> oh, Tom! Yeah, man, look, look, I can get you your money! Oh, Tom! Oh, oh shit! Man, man, look, oh, look, I can get you your money, I swear, my fighter! Wait a second. Is this your fighter? Yeah. You know Hector Chavez. Yeah, he's, he's my fighter, I've been trying to tell you. He's gonna win. From one Jew to another, you are one lucky motherfucker. I think there's a way to make this work for the good of all of us. Are you sure you guys gonna win? You wanna bet? And time! Good one. Good, good, hey, man. I couldn't find anything on this cage guy. I think I got something. You gotta let me do a little more research, all right? Take two minutes. Go, not too much water. Okay, bro. There you go, champ. Ha! Nice, strong. Strong, nice, nice. Ha! Yes, ha! What's happening, S.A.? I told you to leave us alone. <laughs> There's only one way that's gonna happen. And that's if you fight my man here, little Juan. Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? It's too late. You're already in trouble. Yeah, watch out! <laughs> 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 Hey, 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 what happened? Uh, one of their guys uh, shoot Ian. Is he gonna be okay? Uh, we don't know. Uh, they're operating on him right now. We're waiting. I have to go to Martin. Okay, baby, go. Okay. All right, well, you keep me posted. I just wanted to come and visit Martin and see you. Hector, I think I found a weakness. I've been watching the videos, and during one of his amateur fights, someone hit him really hard on the left side of the jaw, fractured it. That's his Achilles heel. Left side of the jaw? Yes. Got it, got it. I have to ask you something. I mean to ask you for a long time. We were little kids. Every time you got hit, you got back up. Why? You know, I always got up hoping that the next time, instead of hitting me, he would hug me, you know? But he never did. And I never stood up for you. It wasn't your fault. And all the commotion of our lives. 
keep forgetting to tell you how much I admire you. And I love you. And I always will. And I admire you. And I love you too, brother. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I get a lot of help. I know. Mrs. Chavez. Well, we got the results we were looking for. He's strong and ready for surgery this Friday, May 5th. Doctor, I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't know how we're going to pay for it. It's all taken care of. Your husband made the $25,000 deposit and took care of the payments. <laughs> Thank you. You lose. Strip down, homie. When I was five years old, I was on the streets. No mother, no father, by myself. I could have either been a little street bum begging or a king. I started putting all this together. I became El Rey. I need a queen. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah, no, you can. You gotta show me. I'll show you. Show <laughs> over yeah. and over. Yeah, and then, uh, every day. Get these fucking people out of here. <laughs> no. I'm gonna blow Get out of here, everybody. Let's go. Get out. Get out. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Who is it? People say the priest. A fucking priest. Tell me it. What are you lost, priest? Hello, Mondo. I come here in peace. I just have a special request. You leave my brother alone. He's an example in the community. He's a good man. He almost killed my guy. I'm sure he was just protecting himself. He wouldn't harm anybody for nothing. Please consider my request. I'll consider under one condition. Whatever. You really beg. Okay, Mondo. I'm begging you. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it's not how you beg, priest. No beg! Mondo. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Please. Oh! Wando, I came here in peace. Juanio, oh, 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 oh. oh. you have any forgiveness in your heart for this priest? Nah. Please, Wando. Ah. I love you, little brother. Get this priest off my carpet. He's bleeding all over it. I guess May 5th is a big day for the Chavez's, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Are you okay? You know, all my life, I was hoping for a chance to prove that I'm a winner, that I'm worthy. I know that the time is here. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of losing. I fear of not being worth it. Or maybe I'm just a regular nobody and that's that. Hector, you're already a winner. You are, you're a great father, a great husband. You know, I'll never forget what you said to me when we first met. Do you remember? 
embrace it every day when you wake up to go out there and do your very best. So at the end of the day, we'd have no regrets. So that way, when you go to bed at night, you'd have no regrets. You don't need to win that fight today. You just need to go out there and do your very best and give it all you got. Martine and I will be right here waiting for you. I knew all my life that you're a winner. Today, the whole world's gonna know. Only pretty is strong too, huh? Yeah, I learned from the best. <laughs> Finally hit the big time, huh? About freaking time, baby. So you can text me and let me know how Martin is doing. And you should check on Ian too. I have to be going. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Are you Mr. Hector Chavez? Yes. Mr. Chavez, I have some bad news. I'm sorry to say, but your brother was found dead today. might for right. You're a symbol to your people, an icon, just as I am a river economically to my people. So defend your people. Rise up on Cinco de Mayo. I don't see your coterie of staff, your uncle. Yeah. Well, it's an odd choice for a support system, Mr. Hector Chavez. Onward and upward, sir. Yes, sir. Where's Ian? We don't know if Ian's gonna make it. He suffered a cardiac arrest. He's in intensive care and his prognosis is very poor. I spoke briefly with him. He was very weak. But he asked me to be in your corner for him. I don't think it's such a good idea. Please! It's time. Let's go, Chavez. <laughs> okay. of the action, Mike Beltra. All right, gentlemen, let's bring it in. All right, gentlemen, been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you want. Very well, I'll be back. At the sound of the bell, come on out and handle your business. You ready to fight? Handle, let's go! Chef and Jive just stay out of the champion's range. Wow, I do not blame him for that. Take him out, champ. Hell 
you doing? You're supposed to take this guy out a long time ago. If he hit you against like that, you have to stay down. You already made one wrong to this maniac. Why, Jens? Why? You already made the money. I told my kid I'm gonna do my best. Come on, Hector! Stay out. Well, finish him! Fine! <laughs> That state back off, Stone. When I get done with you, you won't be able to manage shoe shine boys. Wait, come on. Maybe you can get here and blind him in your suit. I can see up my right eye. Your face is coming. Put your hand on my back. I can't how many fingers you hold. What? Just do it. How I'm okay. Doing? I'm okay. Don't stop the fight. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Three. And how about now? One. Okay. Thank you. Bradycardia. Damn. Come on, kid. Fight for it. Give him entropy now. Full milligram. Intravenous. I love you, Daddy. It's a miracle. His vitals are coming back. Thank God. Left side of the jaw. Get up! Get up! Stop! He's out!
Great fight, Chavez. Congratulations. Thank you, Trump. Now you're gonna know what it's like to have something everyone's willing to kill you for. Take care of that bell for me. I'll be back for it. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Four minutes, 59 seconds. Round number five. Your winner by KO victory and new UXC heavyweight champion of the world, Hector the Mexican Chavez. Where is he? Where's Chavez? He's with his family. He said you can show the belt up your ass. Henry. You okay? You sure? Thank you. Thank you, God, for listening to my prayers about Hector and Martin. See? That's why I love you so much. Because you always give yourself unconditionally to everybody else. And because you're too damn pretty. <laughs> Look at your face. I know it's getting pretty by the minute, huh? Yes, it is. How is he? The operation was a success. It's gonna be all better. <laughs>